Hi fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded Heroes report. Getting towards the end of the week, let's uh, kind of wrap this. Well, i got another report for Saturday. Undertaker still rehabbing his uh, torn rotator cuff, by the way, after it uh, was surgically repaired late last year. Uh, he's been working aggressively to rehab the injury in hopes that he wouldn't, uh, you know, be severely limited for his match against Triple H at WrestleMania 27. The damage from his latest injury was bad enough that it's expected to confine his uh, mobility in the long term, though. While there was much speculation that his in-ring uh, career is coming to an end soon, multiple WWE sources believe that he could last uh, and appear at WrestleMania events for the you know, years to come, as long as he keeps himself in shape and is able to perform you know, his signature moves um, and can work through limitations. All they're going to do is just slow him down on doing house shows and probably uh, show up maybe once a year. I believe Shawn Michaels is going to do that probably every year in some form or the other. Monday Night Raw uh, taping, by the way, was held at the Rose Garden Arena in Portland, Oregon on May 23rd. WWE.com has posted new uh, studio photos of Michelle McCool. As soon as I get done here, I'm going to go check them out. According to several sources within WWE, I also got a hold of uh, uh, the Chaperone. I'm going to watch that tonight. Anyway, the revival of Tough Enough is being labeled as a reality TV show about individuals who want to become WWE superstars rather than a reality show about professional wrestling. People within uh, WWE are against the original uh, premise of the show because they felt it exposed the industry uh, are in favor of being character driven. We'll see. Former WWE diva Stacy Keebler, Greta character, is going to be returning, returning to Chuck on NBC this Monday if you're uh, watching Chuck. WWE diva. Beth Phoenix, by the way, wrote on her Twitter yesterday that she was in Hawaii where they've been evacuating and preparing for a fallout of a tsunami uh, that devastated Japan last night. And uh, let's hope uh, she can make it out safely. And uh, by the time I'm showing this, I don't think Hawaii got really anything. Or the United States. Maybe a little better surf than normal. But uh, David Otunga, by the way, recently took part in a photo shoot with this on, uh, for the Chicago uh, Tribune. Uh, Jim Ross, he keeps reiterating on his Twitter that he is not currently scheduled to announce at WrestleMania 27 in Atlanta and noted before that there has been a lot of talk lately about JR calling the show, but uh, most within WWE feels it won't happen because probably Vince won't let it happen. But man, they can't be dependent on Booker T to carry the show because he don't say much as far as color. Uh, many within uh, TNA believe that they need to take impact on the road more often. Company officials were pleased with the recent tapings in uh, Fayetteville, uh, North Carolina, and the feeling is just about everyone that, that needed to go on to the road as frequently as possible, providing that it, the cost is effective. Uh, many feel that impact zone uh, fans are overexposed, not to mention that the venue takes uh, uh, promotion, uh, uh, makes the promotional appearance of a minor league TV station. Sort of like ECW did at their uh, their arena. They always called it the bingo hall. Alright, previews for uh, Sunday's Victory Road pay-per-view event in Orlando with Before the Bell. Uh, Mickey James uh, appearing on Kobe. Uh, oh, anyway, it's on Before the Bell, the uh, video link. Uh, Mickey James for the Kobe promotions on Saturday, April 30th in Glenville, West Virginia. She's going to be there to crown the first ever Kobe Pro uh, Women's Champion. Don't know anything about Kobe.com. You can check out more information there. Uh, WWE has a banner on their homepage asking for fans to help uh, by taking a new survey. The survey asks fans their feedback on, uh, on uh, retail giants Kmart, Walmart, Pennies, Kohl's, Target. <clears throat> I don't know what they're trying to find out. Anyway, survey continued with WWE asking people about their thoughts uh, on different Kmart promotions and their chances of buying product from Kmart. They closed it uh, with asking feedback on various WWE.com sections. Whether they actually implement, implement anything that they find out on this, I don't know. Hopefully they do. Listen to us. March 4th episode of WWE Smackdown on Sci-Fi uh, scored a 1.97 ratings. 
with 3 million viewers. It's got rounded off to even 3 million. As noted before, this was down from the previous week of 2.3. As noted before, Rock's going to be returning to Raw the night after WrestleMania 27 in Atlanta. Here's what they've said about it. So just 24 hours after WrestleMania 27, Dwayne Rock Johnson takes the reins of the show of shows. Uh, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment will be uh, electrifying Monday Night Raw live in Atlanta. Tune in to Raw, um, whatever, April 4th, night after WrestleMania, to find out what the People's Champ is cooking. WWE Shop Zone uh, has currently been running a week-long special on Rain Mysterio items. Wrestling legend Paul Orndorff, by the way, is currently battling skin cancer, but the cancer is wrapped around a, uh, an artery so doctors can't perform the surgery needed to remove it. I've never heard of that. Orndorff is instead going through chemo and radiation treatment. Orndorff has described uh, it as the worst pain that he's ever endured. Uh, I don't know whether it could have been from all the tanning. But he was always tan, and I think they always used the tanning boots then. They didn't use the orange makeup, carotene stuff. All right, Raw main uh, live event, March uh, 4th, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, drew about 9,000 fans for $230,000, just 500 fans short of being sold out. March 5th in uh, uh, Alexandria, drew 6,500 fans for $185 million, uh, million thousand. Whew just short of 300 being a sellout. Live event from uh, College Station, uh, Texas, drew about 4,000 fans, $120,000. Former WWE writer John Perrani, I think, revealed on his Twitter that Brodus Clay was originally going to be Ted DiBiase's bodyguard when he was looking for a new uh, Virgil last year. It looked like uh, Clay will be siding with his uh, NXT mentor, uh, Alberto De Rio, Car Ricardo Rodriguez. Former WWE star, Trevor Murdoch. He's going to be uh, returning to Pro uh, Japan Pro Wrestling Noah promotion for a tour on March 12th. They'll let you know where he's at on the 27th. Chris Jericho's announced two undisputed uh, book signings. March 28th, Barnes & Noble's, uh, if the clones are still open, Los Angeles on uh, Grove Drive, 8 p.m., 31st of March, Barnes & Noble in New York City, 5th Avenue, 1230. For uh, the month of December 2010, Raw averaged 4.63 million viewers. In January of this year, Raw averaged about 4.87 million viewers uh, per show. And SmackDown averaged about 2.76 million in December, uh, 3.04 million in January. Uh, WWE shipped 187,000 units in January, lower than the usual monthly numbers of DVDs. Uh, their website had, or rather, uh, I don't know if that's, uh, yeah, DVD units. Their website had uh, 12.9 million unique viewers in January, up a little bit, 12.3 million in January uh, 2010. WWE Shop, Shop Zone website averaged about 677 orders a day in January, up from 581 in January of 2000. Have you got all that? Did you make a note of it? Thank you. I'm just bored as you are. All right. John Cena, by the way, has passed the fifth, five, I started mentioning this yesterday, $5 million fan mark on Facebook, which is a pretty good number uh, on there. Uh, Wrestling Observer uh, Newsletter uh, talks about the wrestler Cherry Bomb has not signed with WWE. Of course, you hear rumors that she has signed with it. Uh, Christina Crawford from a uh, former FCW diva and sisters of Raw Diva Fox uh, is uh, still working down there. And I think she might be on Tough Enough. So will Matt Croft, uh, known as independent uh, wrestler as M Dog 20. Uh, another person going to be on there, Bobby Robertson, known in the main uh, independent scene as Golden Boy. And uh, let me see, what else? We got Eric Watts. California independent wrestler, nickname of Big Nasty. Juliet the Huntress, 22-year-old independent wrestler of Puerto Rico descent, based out of Chicago, debuted in 2005. I haven't seen that. But anyway, that's sort of the lineup for uh, Tough Enough, and we'll see how it goes. And hopefully it goes over better than NXT and don't end up on their website as a show. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.